I'm going to warn you right now, this song is not for babies. This song is not for little kids. This song is for big kids. You ready? Here we go. Miss Susie had a steamboat, the steamboat had a bell. Miss Susie went to heaven, the steamboat went to hello. Operator, please give me number nine. And if you disconnect me, I'll chop off your behind the refrigerator. There is a piece of glass, and if you dare to step on it, I'll kick you in the ask me no more questions, tell you no more lies. The boys are in the bathroom, zipping up their flies are in the country. Bees are in the park, Miss Susie and her boyfriend are kissing in the dark is like a movie, a movie's like a show, a show is on the TV screen and that is all I know, I know my mama, I know I know my pa, I know I know my sister and her $18 broccoli is delicious, spinach makes me cry, Miss Susie told me all of this the day before she dyed her hair all purple, she dyed her hair all pink, she dyed her hair all polka dots and washed it down the sink. Hello, operator, please give me number 10. And if you disconnect me, I'll sing this song again. This song is by Kimya Dawson, and it's called Alpha Butt. You ready? A is for apple, B is for butt. C is for cat, but D is for doo doo, E for elephant doo doo, F is for fart, G is for gorilla fart, H for huge gorilla fart, I is for eyeball, J is for jammies, K is for kid fart, L for long and loud farts, M is for monkey butt, N for say a night, night to Noah at nap time, O is for O, P is for panda peeing and pooping in her potty while Papa plays peekaboo, Q is for Qbert, R is for robotic monkey who's going to take over the world. S is for stinky, T is for turd, U is for uh-oh, V is for flying V, W is for wee wee, X exactamundo, Y is for yucky and yummy and you, and Z is for farts that smell like the zoo. <laughs> oh, I want to be a dog, <laughs> want to wag my tail, <laughs> Chase cars and knock over garbage cans Bark at the lady that brings the mail Oh, I wanna be a dog <laughs> Wanna dig big holes <laughs> I wanna sniff French poodles and basset hounds And pee on the telephone pole Oh, I wanna be a dog <laughs> I want a big wet nose <laughs> I wanna run in the street, get mud on my feet And jump all over your clothes Oh, I wanna have dog breath, yuck I wanna learn how to growl Arr. Scratch fleas and ticks Run after sticks The moon will make me howl Oh, I wanna be a dog I wanna lie around Being human these days is getting too crazy I just wanna be a hound Being human these days is getting too crazy I just wanna be a hound now see if you can follow along with this. You ready? Now many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. This widow had a grown-up daughter. She had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon the two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. My daughter was my mother because she was my father's wife. To complicate the matters, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. My little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad, and so became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For if he was my uncle, that also made him the brother of the widow's grown-up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. My father's wife then had a son that kept them on the run. He became my grandchild, for he was my daughter's son. My wife is now my mother's mother, and it makes me blue. Because although she is my wife, she's my grandmother too. Now if my wife is my grandmother, then I am her grandchild. And every time I think of it, it nearly drives me wild. For now I have become the strangest case you ever saw. As the husband of my grandmother, I am my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa, I'm my own grandpa, it sounds funny I know, but it really is so, I'm my own grandpa, one more time, I'm my own grandpa, I'm my own grandpa, it sounds funny 
I know, but it really is so. I'm my own grandpa. Here's a song about how it's never okay to bop someone on the head. You ready? Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came a good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Even if you're being gentle, it's not okay. I'll give you three chances and if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, the next day, Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Again, down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you two more chances and if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. The next day, Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you one more chance, and if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon the next day. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I gave you three chances. You didn't stop, so now I'm going to turn you into a goon. Poof! turned into a goon. And the moral of the story is, hair today, goon tomorrow.